Welcome to another video. So you've seen the clip, you know what I'm going to say. This guy is spanking the water, as you can see. Spank, spank, spank. Now, why do people do this and how do you fix this? Well, okay, let's talk about it. So first of all, whenever kids learn how to do front crawl, the first thing the instructor teaches them to do is to do this. These giant windmill arms. Why do we learn windmill arms? It's because we need to teach the child or the student to extend their arm to the furthest possible distance from here to here when they pull, okay? This maximum distance allows the student to grasp the concept of grabbing as much water as possible and pulling it behind you, okay? Now, later on, once you get comfortable with the windmill arms, then you start refining your technique, okay? And that's when we start cutting into the water, as you can see, most competitive swimmers do like this okay now this particular gentleman has not evolved his stroke from the windmill so a lot of people who don't evolve their front crawl arms and they just keep doing keep applying windmill arms they think in their heads that if they ooh, if they put more oomph into their windmill they're gonna develop more speed and therefore more power in their stroke, which is completely false. Imagine you had a paddle and you smack the water and then you pull. Smack the water and then you pull. Smack the water and then you pull. Does that make any sense to you? No, why? Because obviously when you smack or spank the water with your paddle, you're exerting unnecessary energy. Most paddle boarders or kayakers know that you insert your paddle into the water by carving or cutting or spearing into the water. Okay, that's the most efficient way to insert your paddle into the water and then you pull. Same thing goes with your hand, okay? You insert your hand like this into the water. You cut and you spear. Okay, why do we use the word spear? Okay, it's because when you spear, you're reaching forward, okay? I've mentioned this before in other videos, okay? You don't just insert your hand into the water in front of you. You reach forward, okay? That reaching, that ugh, right? Where your shoulder looks like this is gonna give you that oomph forward, okay? It's gonna give you that forward momentum. That's what you want. And that reach gives you more distance to pull. So all this guy has to do is to bring his elbow up Make like about a 45 degree angle. This is what you're gonna look like. Okay, armpit is out of the water, elbows high. Your, your hand is like at a slant, like a 45 degree. You cut into the water. And then once you reach your final destination, all the way forward, then you straighten out your arm like this. And then you can start pulling like this. And you'll notice that there's no spanking of the water when you do this. Okay, you know when it's correct, when you don't feel, you feel your hand sliding from your fingertips all the way down to your elbow. This part right here should feel no smacking whatsoever, okay? You whooshed, spear it into the water. It's a smooth descent, okay? If you feel any resistance from here to here, you're doing it wrong. So practice this in the water. Let me know how it goes. My name is Justin and get the free ebook that I wrote. Please, 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 please get the free ebook. Click the link down below. It's totally yours for free. It'll teach you how to get prepared for summer 2022 in the water. Okay. It's, it's a guide. I wrote the guide. This will help you make you become, this guide will make you a smarter swimmer and give you a game plan. Okay. So get it, please click the link down below. Thanks for watching and bye.